Hello everyone, this is Story and today we are starting Dragon Age Origins. I'm very excited about it, it's my favorite game ever. I haven't played it in a while, but I will keep it spoiler free, don't worry, we will go through it together. I really just want to share this game with you because I think it's worth it, it has a very interesting plot and incredible characters. So without further ado, let's start! The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. And now it's time to start our character creation. Let's see what we've got. I usually play as a woman and we have three races here. It's human, elf, and dwarf. I think that I would really prefer to play as an elf. And also we have three classes. Uh, warrior, mage and rogue. As usually I play as a rogue, I would prefer to choose mage now. Because as I mentioned, I played this game before and I want to make this experience most exciting for both you and me. So I'm going to choose 
the class that I'm not very used to. And we have one background for mage. Will, uh, wielding a power as dangerous as it is potent, you know that magic is a curse for those lacking the will to control it. You anxiously await your heroine, the one chance you the one chance sorry to prove yourself against the demons lurking without and within succeed or be slaughtered by the knights who warred against your kind so basically the mage is a class which either controls their powers or not and if not they are gonna be slaughtered great greetings Greetings to you too. Let's start with our appearance. Okay, what faces do we get here? I actually like this one. Yeah, let's let's choose this one. Then skin is fine. Hair? No, I really prefer to give her some hair. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's the next one. Okay, lip color. She has time for makeup. <laughs> yeah, between fights. But I will give her brown lipstick. I like it a lot in real life. Uh, tattoo, no need for that. Let's see what hair we've got. Mm, no, I don't really like this one. This one too. I prefer when it's uh, up, you know, in a bun. No, that's not a bun. Do you have bun? I think they do. Yeah, here it is. And as you might notice, f oh, sorry, <laughs> from my channel, I prefer white hair. I really like it. Where is it? Oh, sorry, it's the wrong way. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I like how it looks. I'll leave it like that. Eye shape. I don't want to mess with it. But yeah, let's look. Oh, <laughs> hello. That's very different. I like this one, but I would make it a little bit bigger. Can I? Yeah, I think I can. All right. That looks nice. I think. My personal like, opinion. Yeah, and I really like dark eyes. I just adore them. I like dark eyes a lot. Okay, the nose. I think her nose is fine, right? Yeah, let's let's leave the, the first one. As you might see, I'm not very specific about character creation. Lip size. I think her lips are fine. Join cheeks. Maybe give her. No, let's leave it like that. And then ear size. She's an elf, so her ears should be pointy. Neck thickness, that's not important. And that is a portrait. Yeah, let's see. Let's move. That looks strange. I don't like that at all. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe like that. And move left and right, move up and down, background. Yeah, okay, what we've got. Let's leave it blue and kind of silver, because again, that's the colors of my channel, and I like them a lot. Oh, 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 that's, that's creepy a bit okay let's just leave it and voice let's hear how she sounds no it's gone how do you do greetings greetings charmed greetings i like the cocky one how do you do right casting the yeah focus yeah i like this one um but when she was speaking i noticed her lips are a bit um, wide because when she talks they're just be they just become much bigger that's strange I think that's some 
sort of a mistake but i'll make them a little bit narrower and her name of course is storia oh sorry for that storia i think we're ready to start let's see what's next oh <laughs> no that's i i thought that we we're going to go straight to the game attributes uh, strength, dexterity, willpower, magic, of course important, cunning, constitution, uh, of course we need to add some magic because she's a mage, and dexterity, willpower, characters, determination, and mental fortitude. Mages can cast more spells thanks to a deeper mana pool, so that's important too. Let's add this one. And constitution, I guess that's health, right? Yeah, let's just add one for health. Okay, skills. What skills do we have here? I really like everything that is connected to communication in such games because I know that you ha can have multiple ways to reply to a question or a demand, so I will give her that. And okay, we can we can have some spells from the start. Creation, heal, so this is these are healing stuff. Spirit, shield, mana drain, walking bomb, and mind blast. Okay. Drain life. The caster creates a sinister bond with the target draining its life energy in order to heal the caster. That's pretty cool. I don't know what I want to start with. I I generally very like uh, water powers. So let's start with that. Oh, we have several. Yeah, we have one more. Okay, this I already casted. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, let's let's take this one. Drain life. Um disorient wait wait we need to see also what's next the caster summons a cloud of leeching entropic energy that deals continuous spirit damage to all who enter friendly fire possible i hate friendly fire Cur curse of mortality the caster causes a target with the inevitability of true death while curse the target cannot heal or regenerate health to be honest no i don't like this that this much no let's let's change it because now we're choosing the first step and then we're going to go here so i want to be satisfied with that um okay let's see what's that the caster encloses a target in a collapsing cage of telekinetic force inflicting spirit damage for the duration and possibly shattering those that have been petri petrified or frozen solid that's pretty cool all right i don't want to spend so much time on it but if you're not a fan of character creation of course you could just skip it or you can skip it now because i want to make a good decision petrify the custard draws from knowledge of the elements to turn the target into stone unless it passes a physical resistance check okay yeah and as you could notice i'm not a native speaker i hope it's not a problem i really hope you don't mind um the custard drains the target of energy inflicting penalties to attack and defense as well as reducing its movement speed Paralysis. Paralysis, I really like that in games. I think that's very useful. Let's let's do this one. Okay, I think now we are going to start. Let's see. Oh yeah, and I have chosen difficulty level uh, as easy because I want to focus more on storyline and characters and I don't want to waste your time with, you know, a lot of fighting. Uh, because if you enjoy that stuff, you could enjoy it while pl 
playing it or I will still have fights. So I hope that will be enough. Yeah, let's start with easy difficulty level. On a cliff overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the Dream Realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon, armed with only your will. Okay. I'm ready. Is there any other option? What happens if I cannot defeat the demon? Yeah, let's see. It will turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. Okay, so we know that she was in the tower from a very young age. So basically we know that this heroine is a moment she has been waiting for a long time. She should be very scared and worried. <laughs> because if she doesn't pass, they will slaughter her. Okay, what we've got here? This is a realm of dreams. Oh, we are already fighting? With whom? Who we are fighting? No, really. Where is the enemy? Oh, I see. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What should I do? Sh does she have a... Um, you know... A weapon? No, she doesn't. So she can just hit him? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm not going to lose that fast. Can I cast? Oh, I can. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's go. We need to find a weapon. Yeah, I think that's very important that this all is just dreams. Yeah, I like her voice. I really like her voice. Um, let's cast the spell again. Now we're doing fine. Yeah, we're doing fine. Hello. Someone else thrown to the wolves 
As fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. Is this the fate? You're a talking rat. No, it isn't right at all. I will succeed right or not. Yeah, it is the fate. That we know. You're a talking rat. <laughs> you think you're really here? In that body? You look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the fate. Oh. You can call me... Well, Mouse. Not your real name. You took the heroin. You can change your shape. No. Um, I think, yeah, I think you took the heroin, It's fuzzy. Right? That time before. They wake you up in the middle of the night and drag you to the harrowing chamber. And then... The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me. I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? How long do I have? That's not going to happen. Yeah, I'm sorry for what happened. Of course I'm sorry. Don't waste time with that talk. You don't want to end up like this. No, I There's don't. something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. Wonderful. Anything can die, I doubt it's as simple as that. Why pit me against such a creature? I don't understand why this test is so feared. Yeah, let's... That's just the first you one. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here, other spirits. They will tell you more, maybe help. If you can believe anything you see, I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. Hmm. A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. I am ready to fight, but you know what? I think that this mage wants to use our body to come back. Because, I don't know, he doesn't seem that friendly to just help because, you know. That is where the test will take place. What's that? The creature can be anywhere, Ooh. but it manifests there. Where is it? Yeah, I think that he just want to take our body because he failed his test long ago. But I might be wrong. But I don't know. I don't know. He... It doesn't tell us something. Because usually when the person really is designed to be our friend, they're a bit more, you know, charming, friendly, nice. And this guy is not. <laughs> yes. Oh, hello. Who are you? Another spirit this way. It never seemed equal to its name to me. And what's his name? Spirit of Bello. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. Fight each other. We're not warriors. I agree, but I didn't have a choice. But no, killing other mages are just not... not a choice. You know why I'm here? Yeah. Yeah, of course he knows. I agree, but I didn't have a choice. Indeed. The choice and the fault lies with the mages who sent you here. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Thank you. I need your help. Did you create all of these weapons? Yeah, if he has weapons, he needs, he needs to give it to me. Of course. You are not the first mortal to seek my aid. 
I am not here to assist you, however. My purpose is to seek perfection, creating the ultimate weapon for the pursuit of valor. Would one of these weapons affect the demon? What kind of spirit are you? What else do you know about the heroine? Did you create all of this weapon? Which one? Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. Yeah, it seems you would prefer to kill me yourself. Yeah, let's try this one. How dare you accuse me? Oh, sorry. I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. Okay, yeah, let's... Then prove it helped me fight that demon, so you challenge helpless mortals to duels. You are insolent. But your will is unquestionably strong. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Go. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. Thank you. So now we can take the weapon, right? Did he give it to us? Valorous stuff. Wonderful! Thank you very much! Yeah, so we know now that there are good spirits and bad spirits here. And now I'm guessing we need to deal with the bad one. Saving game, thank you. I guess. Ooh! Okay. Let's see. This one. Oh, another one. Nice try. Let's finish him. I don't remember. Yeah, the health is restoring when when we are not fighting. Be cautious. There is another spirit here. Not the one hunting you, but still. Sloth demon. Hi. Who are you? Let's talk, I guess. Mm. So, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Maybe. Are you here to help me? What kind of spirit are you? I think he's a good one. Why wait for scraps? Come get some now. What do you know about this demon? Yeah, what do you know about this demon? <laughs> I know that you will fail your test. And he will eat you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. I need help defeating a demon. Why are you called sloth? What are you? No, I need to be straight with him because he gets tired too quickly. You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. Uh, be valorous. Mm. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, 
might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? Hmm. Yeah, you see, even the spirit prefers him. Hiding doesn't solve anything. We need to face our fears. You could help me fight the demon. I thought you were here to help, but you're just a coward. He's not a coward. He's trying to take your place, I think. Mm, you could help me... Yeah, let's call him a coward. A coward could not have endured as I have. The time I have spent waiting for... For some possibility of release. Yeah. You are right. Hiding doesn't help. I'm sorry, it's the Fade. It changes you. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear. If you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm hmm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. Did you hear that? He wanted a possibility to get out. Mouse wants to... No, no, I'm not going to teach him be stronger. No, 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 no. Uh, you can't just suggest something and then change your mind. No, it's useless talking to you. Because I'm afraid that he just wants to take our place. So I don't want to teach him anything. Then leave me to my rest. <sighs> Because just imagine, you spend all, all your life in a tower. Oh, wait, I think I, I have to do it. Okay, so just imagine spending all your life in a tower, waiting for the test, and then they just slaughter your body, and you're stuck here. Of course you want to get out. What is it now, mortal? Are you not dead yet? No, I'm not. Please teach Mars to be a bear. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Riddles? Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. I'm not interested, riddles. I accept your challenge. Yeah, of course I accept your challenge. Sure, Let's hear them. Yeah. Well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Desert, boat, moon, map. Yeah, of course map. Def yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Definitely a map. <laughs> Correct. Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? Handle, ton, temper, breath, intelligence, sword. Wait. I'm rarely touched, but often held. Hold your ton. Yeah, it's about ton. Yes, your witty tongue. Fair enough. One more try, shall we? Sure. Often will I spin the tail, never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. But, alas, you won't remember me. What am I? Is it a dream? Annoying riddler. <laughs> Liar, music, book, spider, dream. Yeah, because you won't remember me. It should be dream. You are correct. Rather, apropos here in Fade, no. But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So, I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this. Oh. Am I a bear? It feels heavy. Yeah, now you are a bear. Close enough. Go then and defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. Okay. Now we have a bear instead of a mouse. Oh, 
we don't. We can't. Friendly fire. The powers of magic are significant but can be uncontrollable. Mages have access to spells like fireball that affect a whole area. Yeah, I guess. That's true. The riddles were easy. Very easy. Yeah, he definitely became more powerful. That's for sure. Let's see what else we've got. Yeah, I'm following the white arrow, you know, like in Sudeke game, which I played before. And have a let's play of... There is a spirit of rage. A spirit of rage. Let's talk. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. It's two against one. You really want to fight us both. If I lose, the Templars will still cut you down. Then come and get me if you can. I don't think he cares that there are two of us, so let's check the second one. They are welcome to try. So, this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. Hmm. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Hmm. So they had some agreement and as I understand he ate souls of other mages that came here. You did it. You actually yeah, did it. Yeah, very fast. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to but I never really thought any of you were worthy. It's all a little too easy. Uh, yeah. The ones you betrayed before me, what were their names? Sounds like your help was unusual. Why? You made me believe in you. You're a true mage. One of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it but you have shown me that there is hope no no you can be so much more than you know no 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 he agreed to help me way before he knew me way before he saw my powers and everything no 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 so what is it that you think you can get from me anything to survive like an animal or worse yeah i am what the fade has made me Am I to blame for that? Deciding to exist or not exist is not a fair choice. I had no hope. You have shown me other possibilities. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. How are you going to leave this place? Through my body? No. Just no. I'm starting to think the other demon wasn't my test. Let you in. I'll find mages away from the temples. We'll get you out. No. No. Let you in? Back. Help me back. They killed me, right? Just like all who fail in here. They'll kill you too. Can't you feel the sword at your neck? They believe all magic evil. The fade evil. Once you are here, you become what they fear. No, no. There is my mentor there. He controls the situation. So, I don't trust you. Maybe they are right about some things. Like you. Were you ever really an apprentice? Hmm. Does she think he's a demon? What? Yes, of course. 
I mean, I think I was. Isn't that enough? It should be enough. For you? Maybe they are right about Ooh. you. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Ooh. Hi. Mouse. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests never end. So we we succeeded. We passed the, the test. Are you alright? Say something, please. Oh hi. A demon, die demon. <laughs> oh. Where am I? Is this the fade? You're in the dormitory. Take a deep breath. You're safe. That's good. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from Harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? Uh, we are friends. Okay, we are friends. I see. It was heroin. It was a test of ability. That's all. I. He he needs to know. You know I can't tell you why. Just like tell him, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so much for friendship. I'll leave you alone then. Hey. And now you get to move to the nice mages' quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here, and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. I'm sorry. I've passed my test. That's no. Don't worry so much about. It. They'll summon you to to the test when you're ready. Any day now, probably. Why I can't say just that I'm sorry. Okay. I've been here longer than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. Maybe you're just not ready yet. Doesn't everyone go through a harrowing? What are you talking about? Yeah, let's... Doesn't everyone? The Tranquil never go through a harrowing. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. Who's a Tranquil? You worry too much. It's annoying. What's the rite of tranquility? You've seen the Tranquil around the tower, like a Wayne who runs the stockroom. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. Okay, okay. I think I remember that, but I'm not going to tell you anything. I think you're reading too much into it. What did they do to him? Yeah, let's, let's see. He's been made tranquil. I don't know how they do it exactly, but you're cut off from the Fade. It takes away your magic abilities, along with your dreams and emotions. That's awful. That That is awful. Apprentices can ask to be made tranquil if they fear the harrowing, but the Circle also forces tranquility on those they feel are weak. And sometimes they force it upon apprentices they think might be too dangerous as mages. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. Okay, I will. Where is he? He said he'd be in his study upstairs. You'd better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Okay, my friend. Did you hear anything? Is she alright? Is she awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar, Cullen, said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. Oh, they're he talking about me. Yes, brave. I'm very talented well, and would, very brave. I just know I'll be... Okay, let's go upstairs. We are taught from the beginning that being a mage is very dangerous. Private documents? Level up! Yeah, let's see what we've got here. Willpower, magic, cunning, determines how well a character learns and reasons. Most skills such as herbalism or combat taxes require a quick mind to master. No, I don't want that. Yeah, let's just add to magic and willpower. 2020. Level up. Yeah, let's see what we've got. I want para paralyzed. Yeah, I want to be able to do that. And now it's added here. Very good. This place. I like it. 
blank film. What's that? Oh yeah, and I don't have mo my uh, staff anymore. Fire with your will. Keep the flames steady. I hope you've spoken to the first enchanter. He seems no, no, to I'm you. not. I didn't yet. I'm trying to find him. Yeah, by the way, you can see that I turned on uh, the subtitles for you even... Oh, even when they're just talking somewhere, in case you're interested. Second floor. Owen. Oh, that's the guy my friend was telling Welcome me about. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? I don't need anything. What is the stockroom for? What can I buy here? Are you really a tranquil mage? I voluntarily submitted to the right of tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. That is so sad. You actually like being this way? I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. I should go now. Very well. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, so mages, they are like some uncontrollable power and everyone fears them and they try to control them as best as they can. And as we can see from that tower, mages seem to agree with that. And I'm off. And they even fear their own powers because we can see that this Owen guy, I think his name is, he didn't want to go through the heroin. He didn't believe in his in himself enough. Okay, a lot of books, a lot of people. But this tower is very nice. I mean, the tower itself. A lot of paintings, a lot of beds to sleep in. A lot of things. Where should we go? Okay, let's follow the white arrow. Am I missing something? This is a way down, and we need to find a way up. It should be from the other side, possibly. Oh, I see. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynn, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Yeah, that's me. Hello. Ah. If it isn't our new sister in the circle, come, child. This is... Yes, this is she. Well, Irving, hmm. you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. Hi, Duncan. Is this why you had me summoned? Pleased to meet you. Grey Warden in the tower. What's he doing here? Pleased to meet you, yeah. Why not? You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the king's army at Ostagar. Mm-hmm. And he wants to me to join him, I think. I would like to defend Ferelden. Who are we fighting? Yeah, who are we fighting? The Darkspawn threat grows in the south. We need all the help we can get. What's our Darkspawn? They are twisted monsters that dwell underground where the sun's light cannot touch them. 
They have formed into a horde in the Kokari Wilds and threaten to invade north into the valley. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor girl with talk of blights and darkspawn. This is a happy day for her. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of magi. I see. Thank you, First Enchanter. My phylactery... my leash, you mean? Huh. Yeah, let's ask what's... what's that? You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Okay, I see. So basically we have a GPS thing on us. I see. What happens now? Patience, child. You have been through an ordeal. Let us not rush things. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the rite. Now then, take your time to rest or study in the library. The day is yours. Can I leave the tower? I'd prefer to talk now. Yeah, I'd prefer to talk now. <laughs> Impetuousness is ever the province of youth, I see. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? It would be my pleasure. Okay, he's cute, so yeah, it will be my pleasure. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Duncan is fine. Hello, will you go with me? Yeah, let's go. Should I go here? No? No, I shouldn't. So, Duncan, how are you? What are you up to? How is this Grey Warden's business going on? Just talk to me. No, he doesn't. He doesn't want to. I don't care. I think he'll he's going to talk to me very soon. Wait. Um How how should I get to that room on the map? Yeah, I see. Thank you for escorting me. You're welcome. Should we Is there something else I can do for you? Yeah. I should probably leave you alone. What's happening outside the tower? Oh, we don't know a world outside the tower. Okay, yeah, let's let's leave him alone for now. Hi, friend. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? Yeah, I am. For now. I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? No, I don't. <laughs> Why are you whispering? It's very suspicious. Um, can this... W n yeah. Let's... Shh! I just want to make sure we're not overheard. We what should do go you want? somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. Okay, you're starting to worry me, Joe, and that's true. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. What do you mean? Are you going mad? We should be safe here. Who are you? What's going on in the chapel, the Templar's favorite haunt? You realize, you realize there is a priest standing right here. Yeah, that's true. Not a priest. I am merely an initiate. Who are you? I've seen you before. Yeah, I've 
No, I didn't, but I want to see what she said. I often attend to my duties in this chapel. Perhaps that is why I seem familiar. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. Oh. This is Lily. An initiate? That's forbidden. Yeah. So you can see why we wish to keep it a secret. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Love will conquer all. Okay, did you bring me here just to talk about your affair? Why is she so raw, rude? Why why she has such a rude answers? You can trust me. I won't tell anyone. You should rethink this relationship. Love will conquer all and you'll only have yourself to blame. Okay. But they are not very forgiving of mages as we know now. Um yeah, you can trust me. That's fine. Thank you. I knew you'd stand by me. Of course I will. So what's all this about? Do they want to, you know, run away? Great, get married, have some kids. Can I... I want... To, I think... I thought she was serious. Uh, you can... You can't have both me here to chat about love. Brought me here. Yeah, that's true. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? Yeah. I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. I They'll should... take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. That's bad. Yeah, that sounds terrible. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk. Breathing and existing, but not truly living. Yeah, but in the same time, he wouldn't care about her anymore. So, let's see. How did you find out about this? Yeah. I saw the document on Gregor's table. It authorized the right on Jowin, and Irving had signed it. It's going to be alright. Why would they do this to you? Yeah, why? There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. Blood mage? Okay, and th are they right about that? Of course not. But it's not safe here for me anymore. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. Um, give you my wor word? No, first I need to know what you want to do. Because if you want to kill someone, I, I'm not going to help. What do I get out of helping you? I need to think this over, but can't you just explain everything to someone? I can't be involved in this, sorry. Just, just, oh, just tell me what you want to do. I need to think this over, no. Can't you explain to If we someone? tell anyone, Lily will be punished. If you care about what happens to me, help us. Okay, he is our friend. And we are in this tower for a long time. So I think that we know him a long time. And he's probably our only friend. Okay. I'll give you Thank my you. word. We will never forget this. But please don't kill anyone, okay? Tell me your plan. I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? True. Okay, are you suggesting we break to through it? What if it's a magical door? It can't be that easy. What if it is? We have to try. No. I once it's saw a not. rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stock room. But a Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. I will go to the stockroom and retrieve this rod. Let's not waste more time then. Yeah. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. But if we fail, they will kill all of us. Oh god. So I have to do all the dirty work? I go with you, but it would look suspicious. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. What the hell? Just... Oh, friends. I mean, 
People say you need friends, but when they do stuff like that, no, you don't. That's a, that's just a toxic friendship. Because why? Why he wants me to be in danger? Does he really need my help? Oh, okay, that's too late to cancel now. I trust you saw Duncan back to his quarter. Yeah, I did. Of course, First Enchanter. Yes, and it was an utter waste of my time. Yes, why did you ask me to do that? Because he wants to take me with him. I'm glad you Duh. met him. He's a most honorable man. I need to talk to you about something. Should I tell him, my friend? No, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I agree that it was my privilege to meet him. Yeah. Grey Wardens are peerless warriors who sacrifice all for our sakes. We can learn much from them. Now, did you need something? Joan says that he's going to be mad tranquil. This I think I can ask, right? Yeah. No, uh, that's too suspicious. When is Joan going through the heroin? Yeah, that's better. He is ready. Yeah, Joan fears he's going to be tranquil. And how does he know this? I suppose the young initiate he dallies about with revealed it to him. You think I didn't know? I did not become first enchanter by keeping my eyes and ears shut. Huh. Then you must know that Joan plans to escape. No, 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 not that. Why are you doing this to Joan? Please, I beg you, don't do this to Joan. Um, why? Gregor says he has proof and eyewitness testimony that Joan has been practicing blood magic. I cannot say more. Were it left to me, things might be different. But the Chantry... I'm sorry, child. This rite of tranquility will happen. I must abide by the circle's will. Gregor must be making it up. He hates all majors. Let us not speak ill of my colleague. Our colleague. You know little of this. And I ask you to hold your tongue. No, we're not going to, to tell on Joe and no, I shall take my leave now. You know this is wrong. I have nothing more to say. Perhaps one day you will see it from my side. All right, guys. Now we are a proper mage and we need to help our friend, even though it's super dangerous. And I think we are going to do that in the next episode, because this one has been going long enough. It was very nice to start this game with you. I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I do. See you next time. Bye-bye.